was that? $20. Total? Thank you. So $10 a piece. So the Florida State Fair began in 1904, 118 years ago. And each year, over 500,000 people attend this state fair. This state fair generates over $152 million for the state of Florida economy. The Florida State Fair is spread out over 330 acres. It's not too crowded right now. It's Wednesday about 11.30. There's my mom. I'm here today with my mother. I saw this on someone else's video. This is Asylum. We're on the outside. You've got all these photographs of the serial killers, Charles Manson, Ted Bundy, and others. I'm, I don't know all of their names, but when you go inside of this ride, you hear a lot of women screaming. And then you see blood or what's supposed to represent blood on these little cars. the bumper cars. Turkey legs, street cord. They just opened up and they have one of everything displayed. We have just entered the exposition hall. It's pretty large. There are hundreds of vendors in here. I wouldn't mind sitting in one of these massage chairs for a little while. All different kind of suits. You guys are from Louisiana? Yes, ma'am. Family owned and operated. Looks pretty good. Thank you. Got samples. I want to try some samples. Thank you. All right, baby. All right, 65, and I'm defending on the size. Oh, wow. It's a jewelry organizer, rings organizer. Those aren't handmade, are they? They are handmade and they're made with uh, tuya wood, so it's kind of like uh, Moroccan wood, only exists in Morocco. It's a family of cedar, so it has a smell forever. Ribbons for hot plates, and it turns into a basket, so. They have a large Traeger exhibit. They have psychic readers here. There's a Vitamix display. Strawberry lime, fruit infused water, grab one. It's okay. They even have a Tupperware display. They have it all here. Products of Israel. Here's a little plug. If you look on our YouTube channel, Fred and I visited Israel a couple years ago and we have our videos of that trip. Oh, that's gorgeous. Thank you. Look at this picnic table. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, three. 
What'd you get? A Philly steak. That does look delicious. Yours was $12. Uh-huh. And I got the um, the sirloin steak tips with the mushrooms and mashed potatoes and peppers and onions. Mine was $19. These mashed potatoes are delicious and so is the steak. How is it? It's delicious. Ready to sing? industry. Let's check this out. That's pretty incredible. Invented in the 1840s. Made steam power more economical. Cracker Country. This is always one of my most favorite exhibits at the Florida State Fair.
What kind of store is this? Uh, this is the Terry store. Uh, the Terry family ran the general store. Thank you. Yeah, this feels like a step back in time. The lady in there said that all of these buildings were original. Look at that roof. The process of gristing is to remove the chaff from the grain. Oh, okay. Whether it be corn, wheat, whatever. That's the reason you took your grain to the grist mill. Okay. That's interesting. <laughs> My husband always talks about taking the corn to the mill. You know, having it Having a ground. Dried herbs and spices um, in a, a square bottle, but a glass bottle. Um, well, I bought everything is very fresh. I bought some whole nutmeg here years ago, and I ran out, and I was hoping to replace it. But right. Well, do you have? You'll have our information right there when you're taking the photo. So you could always email me, and if I have it in stock, I'd be happy to send it to you. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. So you are making a broom, right? I am. I'm currently making a broom and I'm weaving the cap, which is the stem of the broom corn plant. I've cut them in half and soaked them in water so they're pliable. And then this is just to cover, you can see here this portion inside. Yes. And that is cut off broom corn. Base of it down here at this end. And it's just not very attractive that way. And it also kind of grabs dirt and you. So I'm covering it. And then the stalk of the broom corn plant starts like this. This is one seed of it. Wow. So that's what I take and then cut, soak, and now weave. Very fun thing to make. It is very fun. So my mother has found the vegetable garden. Look at all of it. Thyme and chives, basil, mint, parsley, more basil, oregano. What is that, mustard in there? Mustards. This is a gorgeous little garden with the sunflowers on the periphery of it. That's gorgeous, isn't it? Can you walk in there? No, uh -uh, they can't. Here is an old house that you can tour. So this is the Carlton House. It was built in 1868. And their son, uh, the people that built this house, their son, he was born here and he served as Florida's governor from 1929 to 1933. So there were nine boys that lived here and one girl. And the boys' bedroom is are up these stairs and the girls' bedroom is on the other end of the house. This would have been a very nice house in the 1800s. Very nice. Well, they had 10 children. 
This is a picture of the family that lived here. This was the parents' bedroom. There's a white oak on the hill, my old clinch mountain home. Help me on my journey, though, to travel on my home. I guess very appropriate for the Florida State Fair is a building that has portraits of all the Florida governors. All the past Florida governors. All the way to our current favorite Florida governor, DeSantis. So this is the train depot. Hi, how are you doing? You make these? Yes, I do. Very nice. Parts and pieces showing how it's all done. Oh, very nice. Finish boxes are over here. Oh, beautiful. Well, if you were stirring something with a nail, that is Very nice thing to do. A lot of fun. I'm sure you get a lot of joy in that. Yes. Now, what about these uh, wooden uh, utensils? Are those all handmade also? Yes, handmade also. Really? There's the plant. Right, well we see saw palmettos all the time. And so they would make brushes out of them. And oh my goodness, I have never seen one of these. That is fascinating. Look at that. Yeah, watch out. You go back there and watch out. That that man is making one? So this gentleman is making these brushes. Here is a miniature train collection. This is quite an exhibit. It looks like it's an exhibit of a fair. Oh, it is. It's the original 1890s Flatbush County Fair. Gentlemen, how many hours? How many? Four thousand. Four thousand hours. And I broke it down for kids. I said a whole year of uh, eight-hour days. Uh, that way, it may it makes more sense to a kid, you know. Uh -huh. Of course, now they're trying to hurt me. Yeah, I saw that over there. And the uh, blacksmith well, pounding on an anvil, and usually the cow hunter popping his whip. But they quit working and we haven't had time to work on them right now. <laughs> we have the original white like, sauce and then we have the white department. I remember the when, as a kid, my mother, you know, would uh, make lard. Yeah. Oh. Then we have the raw ones. Yeah. You cook yourself. Sweet it is to be low by So we walked into the building um, that has an arts and crafts display. We have 
have photography, fine arts, preserved foods, knitting, sewing, handcrafted furniture, woodworking, pretty cool stuff in here. Beautiful quilts. There's a needlework pillow. My goodness, that's pretty. This is, these are what people have entered for basket weaving. Wouldn't it be awesome to be able to create something and enter it in, a st in the state fair? Look at all these pieces of artwork, handiwork that people have entered into this fair. It's pretty incredible. This almost looks like some kind of needlepoint, or I bet this is embroidery that's been done on a machine. Uh, it's a quilting, quilting machine with embroidery. Yeah. Very nice. This is in the division of glass and mosaics. And they have quite a large section on photography. Digital art. Drawings water media. They even have aquarium competitions. That's really creative. It won third place. Almost looks like Arches National Park. I wonder if that's what they're trying to recreate. Must be bromeliads, bromeliad competition. Waters? Oh my gosh, Lisa, that looks so good. It does look good. It does. Mm. Chocolate chip cookies Ooh. and ice cream. I'm definitely going to have to sit down to eat this. Okay.
this is a baby calf right here. I don't think it stood up yet. It hasn't stood up yet. Did she just have it about a half hour ago? have a milking demonstration. Drop it! 